welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Ray. hi <laughs> on this channel we talk about a lot of things mainly travel life and beauty to the interest in the, the, the what wow that almost that word almost ended my tongue if you're interested in those things hit that subscribe big fat red button somewhere on the screen you cannot miss it I appreciate you <laughs> so today we have a really fun video i just want to walk you guys through kind of like my monthly reset routine so this is essentially the routine that i do every month this is currently i'm filming this on july 31st 2021 yikes so apparently we're almost to christmas who knew but yeah august is slapping us tomorrow and i like to do like a monthly reset uh, Michelle B on YouTube if you watch her she talks about this a lot but I kind of just adapted it and tweaked it to work work for my life so monthly reset routines you know they normally include like cleaning um, and things like that so I kind of wrote down my entire routine because I made sure I wanted to like film each segment of it and just so I could show you guys kind of like how I prepare for each new month I feel like this can come across as very kind of corny but I find it to be very important, especially for a person like me, where I am doing a lot of things. It's good to just be like, it's the end of the month, breathe, reset, and figure out how you can make next month even better, if you get me, or make next month kind of what you need in that moment. Am I making sense? Let me know if monthly resets are a thing for you, um, to each its own. But yeah. I'm gonna walk you guys through my list. I wrote it all in my passion planner. <laughs> so let me show y'all my list. Also, excuse me if you see my face looks very dry or ashy or peeling. I'm currently doing a light peel, but the show must go on. So here we are. Don't judge me. <laughs> okay, y'all, let's get into the good. So this is my passion planner. I am a passion planner ambassador, so I have a coupon code if you're ever interested in using one for yourself. So I already started filming, um, like filling out some things. So week of August 2nd, it's a holiday here in the Bahamas on Monday, but I'm currently filming this on the Saturday. But I was so excited for the following week that I had to write that it's a holiday. But this is the focus of it. So to film, though I'm not killing it. So this is essentially my monthly reset and I wrote down most of the things that I kind of want to knock off my list before this, I guess, August 3rd. So I'm kind of using these two days or so, two or three days just to knock out a lot of stuff. So laundry, I have so much laundry. I think I have four or five loads just to myself. Gotta get through that. Cleaning, I already started. I already started organizing my room. So I just need to finish. And I already mopped. Thank God. I have a Swiffer wet jet now. So I already mopped. And I just need to wipe down maybe Pepper's cage or stuff like that. Wipe down the bureaus and stuff like just do like minimal cleaning. I also already washed my sheets. So I need to make a note of that. <laughs> so for this, I want to put like a side section and be like sheets. So I need to give myself credit and then be like clothes. I know, right? I'm just like squeezing it in where I can. Journaling, I've not started yet. But updating my do better budget, personal do better budget, I'm not done yet. And then content planning, I'm not done yet. So those three are the heavy hitters, to be honest. These are the three that I have to do like basically every month in order to remain sane. But laundry and cleaning is also important. All right, so that's a quick look at all of the to-dos I have to, I kind of want to get done between now, July 31st and like August 2nd. I just want to zero in and do those things so that I can have a productive August. This is the behind the scenes of staying sane and avoiding burnout. That's the whole point of this routine is to take like a day or two and just be like, what do I need to do to be more productive next month? That's honestly what I think it is. And that's how I treat it. So yeah, let us finish clean, go do some laundry, and then I'll check in with you guys when all that junky stuff is done. <laughs> Let me show y'all Papa routine. <laughs> I 
waste my time I guess I started thinking right Depressed when I'm low at night I guess I got a screwed up life I know I'm not thinking right I know I'm not acting right but Good morning good morning so I have my you know cup of coffee here it's currently Monday raining outside about 10 a.m. and I really feel like this is a perfect time to knock out my journaling my monthly journaling if you have rustling down below that's Papa I can bad but what's new um, so real quick I will flip you guys over and show you guys my uh, passion planner if you don't know I do have a coupon code so you can get a passion planner of your of your very own yay I use the undated version so it really carries through for whatever time period for the year which is what I love about it like you can literally start tomorrow with the undated version but they also have academic planners and dated planners as well so they have a lot to offer but let me show you guys my monthly reflection and let's get into it while I'm feeling good. Life for re -HC. So there, I have my little uh, section for this week. I don't know what my focus is this week. Um, well, good things that happen. I haven't written anything yet for that. But over here is my quote for the week. He who would learn to fly one day must learn to stand and walk and run and climb and dance. One cannot fly into flying. I think that's really cute. And then my little challenge this week is to get out of my comfort zone by doing something new. It could be a hobby, a sport, anything that I have any interest in but have not tried. Just so you know, it might be my next passion. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to try something and be a beginner again and explore new learning opportunities. So I think that's really good. And um, you guys already saw what's down here. That's what we're getting into next. Our journaling. So let me flip you guys over to the journaling section, which is in the front. But this is the section we're filling out. First question, what was the most memorable part of this past month? Describe it. Three biggest lessons I've learned this past month. Reviewing my past plan and assessing my priorities. Am I happy with how I spent my time? If not, how can I adjust? Over here, how am I different uh, between this month and the month before it? Um, who am I grateful for? What am I grateful for this month? And name three things that I want to improve on. And what are my concrete actions and sometimes i like to look at my past month just to get an idea of where i'm at so let's get started go play for eat 
Happy August Tuesday, Monday. Happy August Monday. Peppa, you try bite me. Okay, so I'm done passion. I'm done. Monthly journaling is complete. Um, so I'll just share a few things with you guys and then you let me know in the comments below if you resonated with anything. Um, but for example, from 1 to 10, I rated July a 9.8, which is really high. Like, ba -ba -ba -ba. <laughs> I can't stand Gino. Yo, I, July was a great month for me. Like some of my memorable moments that I wrote down was releasing the Do Better budget because that was on my soul for a time. <laughs> and then we hit 500 subscribers here on YouTube, which was like, woo! And then we hit 1,000 on TikTok and I was like, ooh! I was just like so happy that I actually was like hitting things. <laughs> and then um, I also have the biggest one, obviously beyond the fact that I'm spending time with Kino, who, you know, he knows the best, but laid the concrete and got the plans approved in July, and that felt amazing. It was just such a relief, um, and yeah, July was a great month for me. So three of my biggest lessons I put down, I'm a Christian, let me clear it up. So, you know, you understand where I'm coming from, but I put down, once God has ordained it, I can achieve it, I feel like that spoke to me. And then the second one I put was money flows to me and money is attractive to me because that's something that I've been like speaking about here on my YouTube channel and just like in general, like internally with myself. Um, and then I put third lesson I learned was sometimes all you have to do for friends is just show up. Like, like a lot of times people feel like friendships have to be like this overly complicated thing. And I just feel like more often times than not to be a good friend sometimes it's just to show up and then I put relationships matter and then I put healthy relationships matter because it's easy to think you can be a loner and do everything on your own but it's important to actually have connections with people I think that's what life's about and then it asked me for three biggest lessons I learned as well but I couldn't I could not just put three I put four so my fourth biggest lesson was that I need peace to prosper and process because that's what I feel like I've been working on and that I've been realizing a lot this month is that as much as I need to like go 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 and get things done I also need peace to prosper like to continue but also just to process like what's going on so that's why I love journaling because it's like it honestly feels like me time to like sit with myself and have a moment it feels like cheap therapy it really does I encourage anybody to journal and what I love about my passion planner is that this is already built in so I don't have to like write down the questions I know what the questions are and I feel like they're just so perfect that like you know it allows me to kind of tap into where I need to tap into some of the things I'm grateful for Kino, Peppa, my family I put down popcorn and guacamole I love popcorn I love guacamole um, and then, uh, what else I can share? Oh yeah, three things I trying to improve on in this upcoming month. My finances, I want to be stricter with my budgeting. I missed June, I think. I didn't update my budget for June. So I'm trying to, so now I have to update for two months. So I want to be better with it and just kind of make sure that up till July, everything is updated and I can get a clear picture of how I'm doing. So I want to be better with that and then I want to be better with like planning and allocating accordingly. So I just started a new savings plan. So I want to make sure that on top of the fact that I have expenses slapping me every month, I want to make sure that I'm saving properly. So I have that in there. My number two point improvement point would be my fitness. I want to walk more, work out more, just feel better about myself. And when I, when I start working out and being more active, I tend to feel more like myself so I want to keep on walking keep on being active hit my Apple monthly charges on this Apple watch I like to hit those every month at the bare minimum 
And then I put back the yoga, because I love yoga, but I haven't been doing it for the past two months, probably since I got that book, because I've been in my room watching her a lot. But I want to try to get back to yoga, even if I have to do it outside, which I don't enjoy. I'll do it outside. I just don't enjoy doing it outside because of the bugs. Like, stop slapping you in your face. And the last point I put as an improvement point would be my faith. So just getting closer to God, getting back to my devotionals and my Bible readings every morning. I used to do those. I haven't done those in a while. And then just getting back to, like, praying a lot more. Like, for, for whatever I feel like I need in that moment. Just sending a quick prayer up to the Holy Father. And that is my monthly journaling. We did it. <laughs> Yay. All right, so journaling, tick that off, we're rolling. Let's get into some content planning. So more specifically, to be honest, my content planning is mainly on my YouTube stuff. I do sometimes try to do some content planning on Instagram, like how I'm currently a Bask and Bloom brand ambassador. I wanna make sure I'm getting out all the content I need to get for that partnership, which I'm loving by the way. My hair has just been flourishing. I just put it in mini braids because I needed to like focus on me for a second. And mini braids allows me to kind of like not have to do my hair every day. So, but I wanna make sure I understand everything I need to get out content wise for my brand ambassadorship. On top of that, I like to plan out all of my youtube videos for the month i don't know if you guys know this but i post at least once a week and i've been posting at least once a week for an entire year so to be on top of that i plan and i know what video at the very least i want to get out every single week right now i'm in the stage where i want to increase my videos just because i have a little bit more free time so i want to do two videos a week and i plan all that out through my notion so i'm going to get my laptop share my screen and then i'll show you guys how my notion looks and my youtube content calendar my youtube content calendar and then we'll go from now all right y'all so i'm gonna start sharing my screen i'll hop into my notion if you don't know notion is like an online everything app i've seen people use notion for like so many different things um but mainly coming to like digital planning and just organization notion is just such a great tool so if you've never heard of it before i highly suggest checking it out it's one of those tools where i just kind of found it and i was like oh this is it like borderline better than i previously used like a google sheet because i know i love excel so i previously was using an excel sheet to do my content calendar planning but I switched to Notion and I like it. So let me start sharing my screen. So this is my home base. Life of Free's Notion, I know. This is my home base. So I have like a few tasks here, but you know, we can go into in depth into like what's on my notion a little later, maybe in a separate video if you guys want. But what we're gonna talk about today is my YouTube calendar 2021. So I click on that. Um, I also have a video ideas page, but I'm starting to bring over most of my ideas here just so I can like implement that. But this is the magic. So this is, I started in January. This is all the videos that I filmed, the dates that they went up live, and then um, the status of them. So uploaded with the hands going up means that are done. So I need to update this because I feel like this is out of date. But what's happening so for example watch a video was uploaded this video i filmed my amazon fitness i just need to edit it and then hopefully that will go out this saturday um how i plan i'm currently filming that now i have it going out for saturday but i'm going to try to push it up to wednesday my two days are like wednesdays and saturdays so I, that's when I try to post. And then this is kind of a preview for some other things that I've been trying to play with. Um, in terms of like, uh, well actually, yeah, it's monthly restart I'm doing. Anyway, but this is just like a sneak peek of how it is. So let's say I had like a new idea that I wanted to film. I would just go to um, the end of this where it says new. 
and I will just be like, what video do I have? Oh, like my, I wanted to do like a video on all my natural hair collection and organizing it because that's a mess in my life. So I figured I might as well film it. Um, so my natural hair collection plus organization. And then I want to film that it's going to be beauty related. So my beauty, life, beauty, travel, and pepper. <laughs> I can probably add some more stuff. I might be like hair, skin for beauty or makeup. But maybe in the future. But um, I probably won't get this out till next week if I decide to film it. And then I just want to add a note to be like, uh, probably mention my coupon code for Basque and Bloom. Wow, that's still working. <laughs> wow, that's still popping. Let me mention it. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. So this is how I keep on track. I just make sure to click, hit on the, click on this every month and just make sure it's actually up to date. This bedroom transformation video I've been postponing for some time. And then also I want to make sure I had a few things in my passion planner that I wanted to be sure to add. So I have like Peppa's puppy update at the end of the month. But I also want to do a property update. Because we're finally making progress over there. So I'm going to add that to, to film. And that's going to be life. I'm hoping we can get it out by that last Saturday in August. And I'll just put tentative. So we got to finish the foundation. Once foundation is finished. So like, honestly, that's all I do. I spend like five minutes going through this, making sure it makes sense. I want to do a day in the life video probably maybe mid-August. Uh, and then I have a cool idea to go car shopping because I need a new car in the near future. So I wanted to start that vlog as well. If you guys have any ideas, video ideas, something you want to see on my channel that you haven't seen before, please, please, please let me know. I am just so open to just giving you guys what you want. Alright y'all, so we have reached the last big to-do, which is updating my own personal budget for, I need to update for June and July. So, I already showed you guys to do about a budget. So, I basically just use that budget, download all of my account statements, and input my actual expenses, and see how bad it is. And then I'm also going to adjust for anything in the future, like any new savings and um, debt that I need to clear up I'm gonna update for that as well so let's get into that last step and then we are gonna be done with our monthly reset Today is a productive day and it's honestly what I needed to just get back on track and prepare for this new month that is August, which is crazy. My birthday is in September, so I put in my monthly to-dos. I need to figure out what I'm doing for my birthday. So come on, Virgos. Virgos, stand up. This is the time. September is a powerful month. Think Beyonce. In case you need... If you case you need to remember the the strength that comes from September, remind yourself of the queen. So, um, September is a powerful month, and I'm so excited that this is August because I feel like this is my preparation month. But what's about to happen? If I'm gonna be 26, I'm about to shut it down. So I'm super excited. But that is the end of this video y'all we did it we went through my monthly reset routine i even drank some wine while i was doing my budget update so i feel great <laughs> anyway i just want to hop on here and end this video thank you thank you thank you so much for watching let me know 
what is that one thing that you do every month to kind of keep yourself sane if you have it if you don't that's fine too just leave a comment in the box hang out with me for a second i respond to every single comment and yeah thank you for watching be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it hit that subscribe please and i'll see y'all in the next one bye